Uh, welcome, this is the Delta Math on solving by trinomial, a factor of a equals to 1. This is very interesting. It asks us to solve for this quadratic. Remember, th this will simplify into something that looks something like ax squared plus bx plus c. So our goal is to get it into that format, okay? So we start with ax squared plus 11x equals to negative 5x minus 60. The problem that we arise here is that we want to bring it all over to one side. So let's add 5x to both sides. What you have here is x squared. The 11x plus 5x becomes 16x. That is equal to negative 60. Then we want to add the 60 to both sides. Now you get ax squared plus 16x plus 60 equals to 0. This is in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c. Now you can technically factor this. So let's go over our factoring steps. a here is going to be equal to 1. Our B is going to be our 16, and C, which is going to be equal to our 60. Put it into our X. B equals to 16, and these are the two numbers that we'll add. So Q plus P, or Q plus P, yep. And our C, which is 60, which is going to be Q times P. Now we want to write down our list of factors. Okay, 1 times 60, uh, 2 times 30, 3 times 20. I don't, that's 40 going to 60? I don't, maybe? 60 divided by 4, yeah. 4 times 15, uh, 5 times 12. Okay. Um, what else there? Uh, 6 times 10. And that's about it. Ooh, look, 6 and 10. That looks like a good one. That could make 16, so let's try that. So we will say that C is equal to... Six times ten, and so that checks out. So that equals to sixty. So that checks out, and then let's do the addition. Six plus ten that gets you sixteen. So that checks out. Perfect. So our Q is going to be six. Our P equals to be ten. All right. So our factored form would be x plus six and x plus ten. And remember, it equals to 0 because we're still trying to solve for it. So to solve for it, we set it equals to 0. So x plus 6 equals to 0. Subtract 6 to both sides. You get x is equal to 0. No, x equals to negative 6. Now you have x plus 10 equals to 0. We subtract 10 from both sides. We get x equals to negative 10. Right, now the issue is how we enter this. Uh, you want to solve the quadratic, so we have x equals to negative six, and you have x is equal to negative 10. All right, yep, so those are your two answers. Please do not write equals in your answer. For example, if you're trying to solve for x, instead type x equals to 7, just type 7. Oh, okay. So you just want negative 6 and negative 10. Submit. So are you sure you want to submit the answer of negative 6 and negative 10? Yeah, those are your two answers. Perfect. Okay. Just make sure you enter it like this. Right? You don't have to enter it as the x. Good. All right. Let's do one more problem of this. Ooh. So let's start by writing it down x squared minus 8x minus 27 equals to negative x minus 9. 
So we have to bring it all in one side. So add x to both sides. You have x squared minus 7x minus 27 is equal to, on the right hand side, it's just negative 9. Now we want to add 9 to both sides. You get x squared minus 7x minus, I believe, 18. Let's do that in the calculator. Let's just check Desmos. So negative 27 plus 9, perfect, negative 18. And that's going to be equal to 0. Perfect. Now it's going to be in our format of ax squared plus bx plus c. So we can now factor it. Factored form, a equals to 1, b is equal to negative 7, and c is equal to negative 18. Put it in our diamond. b is going to be negative 7, and that's going to be b is equal to uh, q plus p. c is going to equal to negative 18. That is going to be q times p. Let's write out our lists. We have 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 4 times anything. No, oh, so these are it. Let's see, can we make the number 7 anyhow? 1 and 18, no. 3 and 6, no. Ooh, 2 and 9 looks right. So let's try that. C is equal to 2, but we want to make a negative number. So we want to make one of these negatives. So let's make negative 9, right? So C is equal to 2 times negative 9, which is negative 18. So that worked. Now let's try it. 2 plus negative 9. Oh, that works. That does equal to negative 7. So our P is equal to 2, our Q is equal to negative 9. So in factored form, it would be x plus 2, parentheses, x minus 9 equals to 0. Okay, set each equation equal to 0 now. x plus 2 equals to 0. x minus 9 equals to 0. Let's solve. So minus 2 to both sides, you get x equals to negative 2. Here, you want to have you want to do the inverse so you add 9 to both sides you get x equals to 9 so our answer choices will be negative 2 and 9 those are your two answers negative 2 and 9 remember you don't have to write the x equals to all right so let's submit that and that is our answer all right so there you go it's the same process. You have to be very careful with your algebra here when you bring it over to the other side. Your goal is to make sure it, it's in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c. Then you can factor it. All right? So there you go. That is everything you have to do when it comes to solve by a trinomial when a equals to 1.